Good day, collectors and viewers. Social Distance Warrior is back with video number 21. Today, we are going to look at Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot. So, our favorite Jedi farm boy from a galaxy far, far away. Uh, initially started on Tatooine and then left Tatooine with Ben, Han, and Chewie. They went and rescued Princess Leia on the Death Star. And then they left there. They went to help the Rebels stop the, the Imperials from destroying the Rebel base on Yavin 4. So, Luke joined... Uh, the group there that was going to attack the Death Star. He was part of Red Squadron. He was Red 5. And then they made a figure of this awesome part of the story. Here he is here. Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. So this is from 1979. The figure itself, he came in the second wave of figures. So uh, 20 back. So once they had 20 figures, he was part of that you know, second wave. Uh, he's got his pilot helmet on here with the Rebel insignia. He does have his you know chest piece. He does have the flight suit belt hanging over his pants there. I like how he's got the one boot higher than the other. So they gave it a nice distinct look. I love that orange, just like we saw in Ponda Baba. Uh, that orange is really, really neat in the movie. I love seeing anything that kind of is vibrant or stands out. He does have his blaster in hand there. So he carries that DL-44 blaster like Han Solo. It was a standard um, issue for a lot of the figures. Uh, you can see what he looks like there front and back. Now, one thing that was really cool about this figure is you could army build him if you wanted to because he does have like more of a generic look than he does just like Luke Skywalker. So it looks like he's got, you know, you could say that is his goggles sticking up over his eyes or you can say that's his hair sticking through there. So it's got more of a generic look than it does uh, Luke Skywalker look. So we had that and they, of course they re-released that through all three movies from Star Wars, Empire and Jedi. He did wear that flight suit through all three of them, which was nice. And then, of course, Star Wars went dormant. We didn't see him again until it launched again in, two, in 1995. So Power of the Force 2, we got a brand new sculpt of Luke Skywalker. That's this guy here. And, of course, he maintains that look of, you know, muscular, beefiness, uh, superhero, which they were kind of going for there in the mid-90s due to all the superhero stuff and wrestling stuff and uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, this sort of thing. They really went with that beefy look. And articulation, you can see there. Now, his lightsaber did come in a shorter version and a longer version. They did correct it as they went. This one's got the shorter version lightsaber in hand. He did come with an exaggerated blaster as well. So you can see I wanted to kind of have that in hand so it's reminiscent of that original one. So standard articulation there. Arms go up and down. Same thing with the legs. You can, you know, bend the legs up and down. He does have the waist articulation here, which is nice. So a nice new feature. He did fit in that reissue of the X-Wing. And then head goes back and forth too. Let's just turn him around so you can see now he does have some blue buttons. So a little bit more detail on here than the original one had. And they've changed that, you know, leg accessory. The little uh, belt that he's got over his calf there. It goes on this side, not on this side over here. So they've switched it around a little bit. And of course they've added a belt and they've added some gray tubing here, which is neat. We turn him around. We can see what he looks like from the back as well. Now one thing you'll notice on this one here is kind of what inspired the review is that X-Wing Luke, he technically is not X-Wing Luke, he's technically Dagobah Landing or Snowspeeder Luke because he has that, you know, turtleneck tunic up over here. See that? So that's more reminiscent of the Luke Skywalker and the Snowspeeder outfit and Dagobah Landing than it is from the X-Wing pilot one that flew the X-Wing, uh, which he's called from, uh, from A New Hope. So that's a neat thing, kind of inspired the review because I realized I can probably showcase everything now because he has that. So that's 95. Next time we see him will be six years later. So they, you know, re-released this guy a couple times and they abandon him. And then out comes Power of the Jedi after the, we've had stuff for episode one. And we get a brand new Luke Skywalker. And of course, we get him toned down. He's not as muscular. Uh, they tone him down in, you know, physique and in height. Maybe a little bit too much, but nonetheless, they're experimenting here. It's a nice look for the figure. Uh, he doesn't have much going for him. His hands are just kind of positioned to control, you know, the X-Wing more so than anything. Uh, it is the X-Wing pilot outfit because he doesn't have that turtle tunic over here around the top. Uh, he does have a tube accessory that's, you know, outside of the costume. So that's a separate piece that plugs into the back. So that gives it a nice, you know, depth uh, of detail there. Uh, he does turn at the waist as well, so he has that feature. Now, one neat thing on this figure is that the helmet is removable, so let's, you can see what his face looks like with the helmet on. 
He's got a bit of a buck teeth look, you know, with the helmet on there. We just take the helmet off so you see what it looks like underneath. And you can see it's supposed to be a young Luke Skywalker. So, you know, they're getting creative here. They're giving us more detail on the figures. Uh, this one has been sitting in my X-Wing for years. I just like the figure in there. I think it's a perfect size. You know, there's the helmet. You can see all the detail in the helmet. They've kind of come a long way. You know, the part of the goggles is translucent plastic as well. So it gives it a nice look. And, of course, he's got his own decals and colors, you know, when he was up against the Empire. So we can put that back on. That fits nicely and easily over his head. So that's our Luke Skywalker from The Power of the Jedi. Uh, single release. Let's get him back on his stand. Put him back over here. Next one we get is one year later. Another Power of the Jedi one. This one was a pack-in with a snowspeeder. So they made a snowspeeder, crashed on Hoth, and it came with two figures. One was Luke, and the other one was a brand new Dac Ralter. First ever we got Drac Ralter, and they gave us a unique look in that Luke in that set. That's this one over here. So you can see he does share that mold of the original one from uh, 1990 five from the power of the force Two, that original original release one but the tube now is a separate piece you see that coming over here they've added some extra colors to it as well there's a red button and a blue button and uh, the buttons are silver instead of white uh the boot part that's pretty much the same there's a little bit more detail in the boots which was nice fantastic usually pack-in figures with vehicles aren't as detailed this one was nice uh and you can see he's got that you know tunic that turtleneck that runs around you know the top of his head there so that's giving us the snowspeeder slash Dagobah landing look than it is a uh, X-Wing Luke. But because he's still wearing that same jumpsuit, you know, we'll pass him as an X-Wing Luke for sure. Uh, articulation wise, same thing like the other one there. You can turn out the hips. Of course, that the biggest difference here will be the tube and will be the top part of his neck there with the uh, covering. So let's look at him from the back. So that's the one that we got with the snowspeeder. So that's 2002 Power of the Jedi. Next Luke that we get is Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. So Vintage Original Trilogy Collection releases in uh, 2006. It's part of the second wave of figures, again, on that vintage card. And you can see uh, Luke Skywalker comes with, you know, all sorts of articulation. I believe it's 14 points of articulation. Removable helmet, lightsaber, super detailed. Even the flight suit belt that hangs over is separate piece from, from his uh, outfit completely articulated uh perfect version of luke skywalker you can see there let me just show you the back of this before we get go a little further and so you can see him on the back you can see him there in the original look then you can see him down here with the other figures that came in the wave luke you know tuscan raider greedo uh biker scout and han solo in the endor jacket there so let's just put that aside for a second here let's look at that luke i have him loose over here as well so there's luke skywalker uh, you can see full articulation there. He does have a swivel at the shoulder. He has it at the elbow. He he can uh, turn his wrist back and forth as well. You can do the same thing on the other side. Okay, same thing. You can articulate him there. Uh, he does have a spot to plug in uh, a lightsaber hilt in the front of his belt there. Okay, this tube runs separate. He does have a ball joint on his on his uh, chest there so you can move that up and down side to side rotate it you can limit it a little bit by that too but you could always pull it out if you needed to uh bendable knees which is nice let's see if i can get that yeah okay bendable knees you just got to turn it the right way there we go uh both sides as well as the ankle you have that there too okay so full articulation on his figure and of course we can you know lower his arms down there we can turn him around let's just have a look at there you can see that belt is a separate piece running all the way around even more detail on the legs there. You have the pant covering coming over the boot here. And you can turn his his ankle there at the bottom on both sides. Position him any which way you want. Set him in the X-Wing. And we can also remove that helmet. So this helmet's got the little buckle running underneath it as well here. So even more detail than that Power of the Jedi one. Let's just pull that off. And look at that in more detail. So there's Luke's face there. He's got a little bit of paint on his mouth. There we go. We got it off. So that head's on a ball joint as well. And there's the helmet. You can see it a little bit differently. A little bit more detailed than the Power of the Jedi one. It's got white paint design instead of a, like a grayish one that they put over there. And then even more decals on the helmet and wear, wear and tear. And then a translucent visor, which is nice. And then here's the other side as well on that helmet, just so we can see exactly what it looks like. And we can pop that back on his head. So a nice Luke Skywalker there. He looks great with that helmet on. 
Red 5 standing by. Okay, let's pop him back on his stand. And let's put him back over here to stand guard with the other guys. So next time we see Luke Skywalker 2007, uh, they had an anniversary collection battle pack, Battle of Hoth. I don't have the figure, we'll throw a picture up. This one was a Kit Bash figure. Um, had, but I believe, Zev Seneska's body. And then he had a head from another Luke Skywalker and they put him together. He was more of a pale color. He wasn't really an orange. Wasn't really crazy about that figure. But they did release him. He's worth mentioning because he was a different Luke Skywalker in X-Wing gear. Okay, so then we go to 2009. And Legacy Collection, we get a San Diego Comic-Con X-Wing uh, Luke Skywalker, which they actually showed. And then that figure was cancelled. And then us fans were like, hey, wait a minute. You had a Luke Skywalker in, with a celebration face, right? We want to have this figure, so they decided to give it to us as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So here he is here. This is a really neat figure. So it's basically that 2006 Vintage Original Trilogy Collection figure. Uh, they've kind of redone the paint job. The belt is in silver. Uh, he does come with his helmet. He has his lightsaber. You can see the San Diego Comic-Con sticker there. Uh, you can see his face. He's happy. This is celebrating after he's blown up the Death Star and he's coming back to Yavin to celebrate with everybody else. Neat thing that he came with here, he comes with that ladder that you can put in front of your X-Wing for him to climb up and down. That's a really neat accessory that that included in here. It was the only way to get it at the time. But that's that Luke Skywalker. That's what makes him unique from the other version. But, you know, again, worth having just because of that different look on the face. I consider him a new figure for that reason. There's the back of the card so you can see him, you know, in the picture, the way he's been depicted in the movie. Now he's got that yellow ladder behind him and he's walking a red one. We wouldn't get this red ladder till years later in that Wedge Antilles X-Wing pack. You know, and there's Luke there on the back as well. You can see him, you know, standing happy on the ladder there. So it's kind of funny. Happy face Luke. I like it. I think it makes it a, definitely a unique figure. Uh, next one we get Legacy Collection in Snowspeeder outfit. So they make a Legacy version of Luke Skywalker. Uh, awesome Snowspeeder outfit. So this guy over here. You know, full articulation on this guy. He even comes with the, you know, the harpoon gun. And he's got the, you know, harpoon piece. I don't have it here, but it plugs in here. It's got the rope and everything. They went out all out on this figure. Uh, he has the lightsaber in this hand. You know, he gets the lightsaber out when he's climbing up that at, -at And you can use him. He came out right around the time they had that big at, at So you can put him underneath and have him climb up the rope and, you know, toss a thermal detonator in there or bomb in there and blow up the at, -at. So that was really neat. Now... Figure's got full articulation, same thing you can see, you know, swivel at the uh, shoulders, at the elbows, you can turn his wrists, you know, again, he can hold that harpoon gun in this hand, he can hold his lightsaber in this hand, whichever way you like. He does have articulation there on the legs too, you can bend his knees, you can bend his ankles, you know, he's got the his jacket, you know, covering, coming over his pants here, so he's got that perfect look, and same thing with that turtleneck running around. The back there and one thing that's neat here you see the wire how it comes down to attach into his waist here just above his uh, thigh and then you have the harpoon gun i didn't know this for years till i saw someone else try it and the cable for it you can run around the back see that there run around the back and you can actually hook it onto this here we go i'll show you there so you can hook it like i've done here take this tube out from the front and you can it's got the little you know um I guess you could say needle eye on the edge of it. You can hook it right through that needle eye and you can hook it right into his pant there and position it and stays on. So it's neat. It isn't just hanging the way you have it attached to him. So they added a lot of features on this that make it really cool. And we can pull that. Uh, you can see the flight suit is here as well in white. And we can pull that helmet off to see what it looks like underneath there. Cause they've made the head unique as well on this figure. It's a really cool figure of Luke Skywalker. Just slide that helmet. So you can see helmet off. He's got his head, you know, wrapped up. It's cold on Hoth, right? So he got his head wrapped up. The likeness is amazing. It's on a ball joint. But the likeness is really good of that Luke Skywalker. You can see he looks really, really good on there. Uh, the helmet's awesome as well. Let me show you that helmet. He's got the translucent goggles. He's got that little strap running underneath his chin. And you can see it's our Luke Skywalker figure for sure. We can put that helmet back on and have him in the Battle of Hoth. So perfect snow speeder Luke in that X-Wing outfit. So next time we see Luke, um, vintage collection this time, 2011, 
This one's called Dagobah Landing. So I have this one in package only because it was so difficult for me to acquire. I never took them out. Now, this one's really, really cool. So it's got a lot going on it, I believe, from that previous one that I just showed you, but a more vibrant orange. Um, he's got a new head sculpt on there, a translucent lightsaber. It's a little lighter blue here. Uh, he's got a little peg in the front to plug his lightsaber in, so he's got that same look like he does on the card back there. So the outfit's a little bit different with that, you know, in that respect. Uh, the arms, of course, the jacket's different too. If you look at the arms on this one here, he's got the white gloves on here. He's got the gloves off and he just has the sleeves coming down and bare hands. So that's really neat there. See it? And then he's also got, let's put that guy back here. He's also got the holster, you know, there on the side. So you can see the holster running on the side there too. So a unique, really cool looking figure. And then of course, he's got his blaster. You can put into that holster have him walking around like he does in the picture so that's a really neat figure i'd love to have one of an open one of this one i just love the card back so much i think it's unique that i've kept him on card back all these years and there he is on the back so there's a depiction of him on the back there of course he never had a release before so they didn't put anything else and then here on the bottom you can see the other figures that were available in the wave and then he was vintage collection number 44 so that's dagobah landing okay Next Luke Skywalker we get is in 2019. So just recently we got a vintage collection of Luke Skywalker, an updated one of the X-Wing pilot, and he's an amazing figure. So I just, just want to show you the card back over here first, then we'll look at the figure as well. So here he is on the card back. He comes on that vintage style card back. They use that real scan technology on the face now. So this is a definitive Luke Skywalker. It's a brand new sculpt. Everything's going for this guy. He's even got ball joints on his hips. So everything's going for this guy. So I'll show you him loose in a second. You know, so he includes the helmet, he includes the blaster. There he is on his card. He looks really good on the card with that blue background. If we turn around to the back, you can see the other figures that were available in the wave too. So this came out on Force Friday, uh, Triple Force Friday, uh, in the promotion for Rise of Skywalker. So that was the beginning of October last year. And vintage collection number 158. So you can see they've come a long way with that vintage collection stuff. And let's put him back over there. And then we're going to look at him loose in loose form. So here he is here, loose. So again, they went with that great vibrant orange. And a lot of stuff is going great on this figure. So the flight suit, it's a thinner plastic now. It's not as thick. It's thinner. It's a little more durable, easy to move around. He's even more detailed on his boots and on the strap over his boots here. And even that belt, the belt is kind of sculpted on top of his outfit, on top of his torso, on top of his chest plate. So even more depth to that outfit there. Uh, he does have full articulation here, so you can you know move his uh, swivel him, you know, ball joint at the, at the shoulder, at the elbow. You can turn him at the wrist here. Uh, the wrist does have the articulation where you can go up and down with it as well here i can show you there a little bit you can you know bend his wrist on both sides you can do the same thing uh, he does have you know a ball joint on his chest piece there so you can turn him around any which way you want yeah it's impeded a little bit by that wiring but you'd have to pull the wire out the tube out and then you can position him further if i turn around the back you can see what it looks like on the back again even more detail like this part here is sculpted on and it's sculpted over so it looks like it's two pieces so even more, you know, realism on this figure. Just an amazing action figure. And even like size-wise, sculpt-wise, he's perfect. And he fits awesome in his X-Wing. So there he is on his, you know, ball joint head. You can see the mask is, you know, the helmet is just as sculpted uh, detail-wise as the other one. Even more so now, it's a larger. So it looks even more realistic. And you can see, you know, Mark Hamill's face there. Luke's face, you can see his mouth exactly protruding over there. Let's pull that helmet off to show you what it looks like underneath. Give me one sec there. Okay. Looks like he doesn't want to take his helmet off. Come on, Luke. So there's the helmet off. And there's Luke Skywalker. And he looks, you know, amazing. You know, he's never looked better. He looks absolutely stunning. You know, the way the hair is waving. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it justice even on camera. You have to see this in person. But to see his face, his expression, his eyes, the hair is a separate piece on top. You know, everything is sculpted, it's wavy, just looks amazing on there. And that's the Luke Skywalker, of course, that we got, you know, and you can, it's, it can move back and forth a little bit too, which is neat. 
the head can and that's the loop that we got it looks super young there too so that's the most recent one that we got from 2019 the only other one, luke skywalker that i have to show you is my black series one so when the black series line initially took off they made him an x-wing pilot gear i never initially bought it uh i didn't like the head sculpt too much and it was a little bit in denial and then when they re-released him i was i started collecting the line already for a few years and they made him an archive line and fixed his face up. They used that real scan technology. I have that figure here. And he definitely looks a lot better now than he did. And you can see he's got full posability there. You know, ball joint at his shoulders, at his elbows. You can move him at the wrist. He's got that, you know, extra joint there at the wrist on both sides. He's got his flight suit hanging on top. You know, articulation at the knees, at the ankles. Same thing, you can turn him there as well. He does have that extra slot at the thighs too to turn him back and forth he's got the ball joint at the hips so you know fully articulated x-wing luke in six inch form which is really nice now again i didn't like that initial release because i didn't like the head sculpt let's just have a look at him on the back there first and then we'll pop the helmet off so you see him with the helmet on and we'll pop that helmet off just to show you what his face looks like how they've improved that sculpt because he's like a world of a difference okay here you can see like world of difference you know with the hair that's luke skywalker a lot lot better than that previous one looked and a welcome addition obviously to the collection and you need an x-wing luke because you know how are you going to stop the empire if you don't have an x-wing luke so that's it for my luke skywalkers i hope you guys enjoyed the review uh please like you know share subscribe and i look forward to making more videos thank you so much take care